All right, so <clears throat> whitey whitey. The very first thing we're going to need to do is work on a nut. Because I want to save these strings to do that. And everything else is crap, we don't care. But the nut is important. It's a 42. So I am going to remove this cover and see if there's any surprises under there. It's a bit close to the back of the nut, which I have to scarf with the knife. So one improvement right away. Nut color. Let's hope we can get it cut or sized correctly. Woo! Woo! Here's a surprise. <laughs> Here's a surprise. Yeah, you can find surprises everywhere. buggered up this hole and then they put a tape <coughs> to hide it it's a um, rigid probably because they painted over it to the truss rod a little bit there and then they left all of this powder on top of it so okay it's not so bad I can uh, I can smooth it off a little bit touch it up after yeah that's not bad use this knife to get around the nut. Uh, I'm going to do the sides first. There seems to be an ungodly amount of uh, poly up around the back of this nut. Like it's been exaggerated there. And of course we don't want to just break it because... Mm, mm, do we have ghosts in the house? Must be. Uh, because uh, you know it just it just chips everything so we don't want to do that okay so that's our little surprise under the cover Oop. all right let's see what this side looks like be nice if I had something to hold that guitar there. I guess I'd have to build something but I wouldn't use it that much so we'll just go freehand. Did they ever glue that in? <laughs> okay. Surface to clean. Yeah.
careful with the knife. You can nick yourself quite easily. For this cleaning part, I usually start with a diamond file because it, uh, of course, has the grit that you want. To smooth it. But leave a little bit of a surface that, uh, you know, new uh, adhesive can stick to. You don't have to get it all off, you just have to get enough to uh, make it smooth so that you can re-glue. It's feeling smooth. That's looking good. That's looking really good. Except for the fact that it wobbles back and forth like that. That might have been why there was a lot of poly. That tells me it's not level. It tells me it's not level across there. bump in the middle here. There's a bump in the middle. Yep. It's not a 90 degree angle. <laughs> they cut the back edge at a slope and that's why there was so much poly up underneath there. To make it sit straight up against the back of the fret, fret fingerboard, there's going to be that gap, right? I don't want that gap. <laughs> 